Morning friends! Morning. So we're here at the Lowry Outlet Mall. We're very excited. We've booked <laughs> afternoon tea yep. for today. We're going to try and buy some luggage as well. Yeah, because if you if you watched our earlier vlogs, you re you'll have realised that um, we had a bit of a luggage mishap on our last <laughs> Disney trip. So we've had to we're going to have to buy some new luggage yeah. for our our trip in a few weeks. So uh, yeah, six weeks. Now. Six weeks. We're not ready. <laughs> we're not ready at all. We're so disorganised. Honestly, it's not like us. So um, yeah, so we thought we'd grab afternoon tea and then come and have for some luggage. So um, we'll take you with us as well. Yep. Let's go. Much luggage in here. We're just looking at these. Good price. That's an antique bath stick. Oh yeah, that's really good. Don't know how it works, but I think they you put the they don't want to go to there. Yeah, that's really good. Cool. On the code on it. Oh, that's good. Because we always yeah. lose our our little padlocks. Yeah, we do. We always have to buy more for every trip, don't we? Yeah, it's great in here. Really good. It's interesting that the, the huge, uh, these are the, these suitcases are the biggest ones, and they're cheaper than the the medium sized ones. But we were just saying, we don't think think they're too big. <laughs> they're really light, though. So yeah. Won't add anything to the weight. Yeah. Look at this one. I love it. Nice colours. It's a bit like pigment. Rucksacks as well. Look at this one. I like this one. It's London. And we've got some children's backpacks and children's suitcases. There's some Disney ones. Spider Man, Star Wars. Good selection. Hey, so we bought some luggage. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we've got three. There's one inside the other one. Um, yeah, it was nice. Good experience, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it was pretty decent. Yeah, the game was a bit of an extra discount on what it was already uh, already <laughs> labelled at, so that was fabulous. I think he thought that we weren't going to buy, so he was like, I'll give you more money. Yeah, we right. were like, okay. And that's what you get for being indecisive people. You get you get extra discounts. Uh, it wasn't even anything that we just we just couldn't decide which ones to which sizes to buy, uh, and he just kept giving us more discounts. So we just said okay, fine. So uh, yeah, so now we're all set for our holidays, which is amazing. So should we go and grab our afternoon tea? So this is the best shop in the Lowry uh, Outlet Mall, isn't it? The chocolate shop. Hooray. Got the Toblerone. What forgot? What forgot? Eggs mm. or Oreo eggs. The Oreo ones are better. Are they? I think so. Because they do dark chocolate Toblerones. Who knew? I oh, white chocolate. <gasps> oh, white chocolate. <laughs> We're just having the, the debate over midget gems. They're so nice. You don't like them, do you? No, I'll break your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and they've got spores mixture, jelly babies. Ooh, wine gum mocktails. Now this is what I'm talking about. Quality Street. Oh, see, I love, I love these the strawberry um, roses. I love. Oh yeah, cream egg, cream egg ones. What would you choose? Um, yeah. Chocolate Claire, actually. Oh yeah, chocolate Claire's are nice. Oh, and, the, and the and the and the caramel barrel. So we're outside uh, Café Rouge, which is where we're going to for our afternoon tea. Yeah, we found a deal. Um, it's, well, it's not a deal. It's the actual price is twenty five pounds for two people. Which is, I think, that's really good. Yeah, for afternoon tea because we we've been to places before where it's been twenty five pounds each. So, it'd be interesting to see what this one's like. 
I think the thing that, that hooked us was the fact that they do a croque monsieur. <laughs> yes, because I'm not a big lover of sandwiches. Like, I love I love a sandwich, like I'd like a Subway sandwich, but if it's a sandwich just, just like a finger sandwich and it's just been sat for ages and the, the, the salad's made all the soggy, the left, the, the bread goes soggy, I just think, oh. So when we thought it was a croque monsieur, we were like, yes, we're in, we're yeah, in. Especially for £25. Yeah, so, so that's what, yeah, so we're going to head in now. Um, it looked quite good, didn't it, from what we... From what are they? What, what can you remember? What cakes and things it was? Um, I think there was like carrot cake, lemon, just the, the usual, the usual. the usual stuff. But and scones, well, and obviously tea or coffee. Um, so it sounds like you get quite a lot for your for your money, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. For yeah, that. absolutely. So uh, let's go inside, hungry. Yeah. So our tea arrived. Giant cups. <laughs> the cups are massive. I know they are. Yeah, go for it. We're not on the table. I think it needs to brew a little bit more. Say when. That's fine. <laughs> it's a bit weak. <laughs> Is that your tea face? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Honestly, like, we've had nothing to eat today or drink. And it's, it's nearly two o'clock. We need to. <laughs> we have to save the calories, yes. that's why. Right. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're trying to be good before we go away. Oh, she says, just about to be after your tea. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's here. So we've got crack the on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Let's go and some cottage cream. <laughs> and an Anthony. <laughs> and then we double them all. And then, this is red velvet cake. I don't know what that one is. I don't know what that one is either. We've got, we've got a carrot cake round here. Spin it round. A carrot cake, which I think has got almond uh, pistachios on it, so I would be able to have that. Oh, no, it looks like seeds. I think it's just some fire seeds. We're okay. And then um, I think that's a lemon, a lemon cake. And then we've got two chocolate mousses on the top. Which think that's like a eight bar or something. Ah, uh, yeah, possibly. Actually, I might not be able to have that one then. So, huh? It's not big, but but now I've touched it, so I'll get to eat it. <laughs> I thought it was warm, weren't you? Really impressed that it, yeah. Like, I didn't expect this going to be warm. I love a warm stove. I'm very excited. Go on. So, here's a question for you Do you do the cream first and then the jam, or do you do jam then cream? I do cream and then jam. So do I. You can't, put, you can't put the jam in the cream then. What do you mean? You can't put the jam in the. You can't put the jam. You can't, put the, you can't do that and then put the, put the, put the jam in the. You can't use the you can't spread the jam and then use the jammy knife in the cream. No, that's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I know there's, okay. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, controversy yes, about it. Yes, and also, it? also as well, this is this is proper coated cream. Like none of this Chantilly cream business. This is this is. <laughs> this is the proper artery clogging, <laughs> cornish, artery clogging cornish stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony's about to try his. Um, Try your scone. I did it the same way you did it. Yeah, the right way. It looks, it looks better. Yeah, it does. If you did the cream on top, you'd see the jam. Why would you have the cream on top? That's a whole different other. That's a whole different other debate. <laughs> Go and then try it. I was still going to be fat eating. Don't you though? It's pretty cream. It's so sweet. I'm so fat at the same time. It's so nice though. Is it nice? <coughs> yes. So I'm going to try it. 
try mine. I'm so excited. I just have to tell you actually, we were a little bit concerned when we first got the gold stones that they look a bit brown. Um, so mine's quite brown on the top, but it's 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 worth it because it feels like they're like like proper home baked and they're warm. So I think it's gonna be good. Let's try it. Like a monster. <laughs> mm. You just can't be a homemade scone that's warm inside. I just think it's the nicest. It's the nicest thing. Homely. Homely. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nearly finished it actually. <laughs> um, this is a red velvet cake. It's not as nice as the scone. It's a little bit dry. But it's got like a nice like paste in the middle of it, so that that makes it makes it nice. It's okay. I think it's dry because it's been out for a bit. I think it's been made for longer than the scones have. So anything compared to the freshly made scones is gonna seem a little bit dry, isn't it? Oh, it's nice though. Though mine is the coconut and raspberry cake. And it's the complete opposite, it's like super I don't want to say moist, but moist. <laughs> Um, it's pretty good, although I can't I can't actually taste the uh, coconut in it. it. Just tastes like raspberry, and I can taste lemon in it, which is strange. Uh -huh. What do we look isn't about it? Why? I don't know. This is like the, a traditional carrot cake. Yeah. I think that's some kind of granola. See, we didn't we didn't actually check whether they, anything had any allergies in it, did we? But um, yeah, because I have a nut allergy and a fish allergy, but. I'm normally pretty good at kind of scoping these things out, but we think we yeah, we weren't sure about this one, were we? Normally with a carrot cake, you get walnut in it. Yeah. And I thought that was walnut, but I think it, it's not. It's a kind of granola. Okay. Good try. Uh, it's yeah. being brave. Yeah. That's a big mouthful. You get all the flavors. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Do what? <laughs> Don't know where to look. Not keen. It's dry. It actually tastes like a granola bar. Okay. I'm getting the carrot cake, but that, that on top of like, like the granola. No, the. the Yes. Yeah. Like, really, like, like an icing. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's not normal like that. So, you were just talking about which bit was it? The bit on the top? Yeah. Kind of white. Okay. Alright, it's a bit dry. But... So, I'm about to try it. I, I'm excited about this one because I feel like this is like a lemon slice. But when I picked it up off the plate, it's very soft and squishy. So, I'm going to try it. No. Oh no. <laughs> You're gonna cry. Do the like tears of joy or tears of. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so. I feel like. Lemon drizzle cake is my thing. Like, I can't make anything else. But lemon drizzle cake is my thing that I, I know how to make really well. And I feel like the cake is quite bland. But it's the cream in the middle that's quite lemony, which is fine. It's very tangy, but I, I expected to get like a lemon kick from the cake, but wasn't one. It's nice. It's just not what I expected it to be. Loose. <laughs> it's a surprise mousse. Um, so this is just like a dark chocolate mousse. So it's really good. You've tried yours already, haven't you? Yeah, I quite like it. Oh yeah, it's nice. Very, very rich. It's like, it's like one of those goop Yeah. It's like that one. That was fancy. That was fancy, right? <laughs> Other mooses are available. <laughs> so there we go. We're home. <laughs> it was alright. <laughs> no, it was nice. Yeah, it was. I think like the, the crop was was good. The scones were good. It was just the, the, the cakes. cakes weren't the best. Yeah, and I think the thing is, is always hit and miss with with an afternoon tea because 
you know, you, do, you don't know how long they've been there and, and stuff. They're not, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't specify that they're freshly baked cakes. It did say that about the scone and that was very clear that the scone was that because the scone yeah. was delicious. The cakes weren't awful. They just weren't up to the standard of the scone mm. and the croque monsieur. But, um, but yeah, the thing is, you can't go wrong for the price, for the I don't price, think, yeah, either. £25, so... Yeah, and it's, with the, on the thing, it's a £12.50 per person, so if you wanted to go on your own, you could... It's just £12.50, you know? Yeah. So I don't I don't think that's bad for the amount of food. I mean, we're so full. Yeah, there's a lot of sugar as well. Like, you will, like... <laughs> really feeling the sugar. Yeah, but um, but yeah, I mean, it was it was it was a nice it was nice to just kind of get out and just try something a bit a little bit different. What's the best afternoon tea? What's, what's your favourite afternoon tea? Um, it's probably one that I've not taken you to. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, I actually have to say, my favourite afternoon tea isn't one you've been to either. Go on, uh, <laughs> not just getting my own no, back. Go uh, on. Um, the John Street Hotel. Is probably the best one I've had. Yeah, well, I've never been expensive. there. They do a really nice, I'm quite keen to go, they do a really nice gentleman's afternoon tea there as yeah. well. Um, and I haven't had that one, I've had the traditional one, so... Yeah, and my favourite, my favourite so far was the, um, I like the scone, the, my, actually my favourite scone so far I think was that one today. Oh, really? Yeah, but my, my favourite overall afternoon tea was when I went on a, with a trip with a few friends to Lancaster. Oh, the castle. Yeah, we went to we went to Lancaster Castle for the day just to have a kind of look round, and um, we went to it was just like a it was almost like a pub, but it had a really good afternoon tea, like a little picnic table, and had little strawberry milkshakes with it, and quite a modern take yeah, on the yeah. afternoon tea. But it was really nice. So um, yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't say that I was that we went to today was bad. No, you get what you pay for. Yeah, yeah, that's that's so true. It's a case <laughs> with anything, though, isn't it? You yeah. know. Um. So yeah, and we're happy because we got some luggage as well. So we're happy. Um, one less thing to do for our for our, li our big list of things that we need to do oh, for our yeah. holiday. So um, yeah, so next week we are off to Belfast in Ireland with two of our good friends, yeah. and we're really looking forward to it. And um, we've got loads of things planned. We don't know how much we're going to get to vlog because this is kind of our holiday with our friends. Mm. So, but we're going to try and do as much as we can. And um, we're hopefully going to the Titanic Museum. Which we're really excited about. <laughs> I love all that, like the history. And um, we're also going to... There's a Game of Thrones exhibition that we're booked into on the Saturday. Game of Thrones. Um... <laughs> Don't get me started on the Game of Thrones. It's, oh, honestly, we're so excited for it. Yeah. yeah, so we're going to the exhibition for that as well. So it's all like, I think it's like a pop-up thing. So it's all like costumes and, and props and stuff like that. Um, and then we're going up to the Giants Causeway. Yeah, we yeah we've got a coach tour booked actually, so that'll be really interesting to the Giants Causeway. Um, so it's going to be an action packed trip. We're going on the ferry, eight hours yeah. on That's the ferry. Quite action packed. <laughs> no, but it'll be interesting to kind of see what it's like, and apparently yeah. there's a cinema on there and and stuff. So um, it'll be and um, our friends are going to bring some cards, so we're going to be very uh, civilized and play cards, have another nice drink. So um, yeah, like we're we're going to have a good time. It's going to yeah. be. Uh, Lots of fun, so hopefully we can take you guys with us on some of those adventures as well. So, thank you so much for coming along with us on our trip to the Lowry Outlet Mall and for afternoon tea. <laughs> um, if you liked our video, please click like and subscribe and leave us a lovely comment. Um, we have, and we do reply to, to all our comments, and we've yeah. made some lovely, lovely friends um, on YouTube and on Instagram as well. Um, so please do that. Uh, we are off to Florida in... Six weeks. Six weeks. Um, so we'll have some uh, action-packed, fun, Disney-themed vlogs coming as well over the next few weeks. When do you think those will be out by? Um, we go at the end of May, so it'll be about the second week in June. You'll start to see those. Yeah, okay. And we, we're trying very hard to kind of get our video out every single week. Um, we know, we're doing kind of stuff around the UK, stuff around Manchester, and then, you know, mixed in with our uh, our main passion, which is Disney. Um, so, yeah, so like I say, click, click, click and like, and uh, we'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.